Welcome. This is 49B7 and this is wave reflection and transmission at an, at an interface. So let's have a look and see what we're talking about here. So I'm using a physical example here. This is a, a wave, uh, a piece of string for example, and it's tied to a pole. So the end is fixed. And if I send a pulse in, say a, a positive going pulse down the string towards the fixed end what I'll notice is that I get reflected towards me I will get a negative going crest a negative going trough it will come back towards me and it will be a trough so a crest goes towards and a trough is bounced back now if I think about a wave you know, if I think about a full wave, there's the crest and there's the trough. So it jumps from there to there. It's like it jumps across. And that's not expected. What makes it even more interesting is if I loosen up this end. So I make a, a slider, something which is not fixed. And I send, again, a positive going crest towards the slider then what happens is what's reflected is a crest coming back at me so here I don't get a phase jump so when I have a fixed end I get a phase jump of half a wavelength this here is lambda over 2 and I get it in this case but I don't get a phase jump in this case. What, what goes as a crest comes back as a crest. That's interesting. It's also very significant in terms of other wave-like situations. Um, if I'm working with a coaxial cable and I have electrical signals going through the cable and I get a connection in the cable then I can have reflections from that change in the medium. If I have light and say light passes through glass, goes from air to glass and I get a change in the medium, I'll get reflection from that. And does it get reflected what we call in phase? This is in phase because the crest stays as a crest, or is it reflected out of phase because the crest immediately becomes a trough. What we say is for a fixed end, the reflected wave is anti-phase because of a lambda over two phase jump. And for a loose end, the reflected wave is in phase because there is no phase jump. Um, if I look at this situation, I can mimic it with, with string. If I have a, a light, a low mass per unit length string connected to a high mass per unit length string. So the medium's properties have changed. Then what will happen is if I send a positive going pulse towards that interface, then yeah, a positive going pulse will continue through the interface down the string but a crest a negative going crest uh, sorry I keep saying that a negative going trough will be reflected back um, so there's a phase jump phase jump of lambda over two half a wavelength Whereas if I switch things around and I have the wave going through a heavy mass per unit length wire and it is attached to a light mass per unit length wire. They're just attached. There's no, there's no pole there. They're just attached to each other. Then a positive going crest will continue as a positive going crest. But there'll be a reflected element which will still be a crest. It will be going in a negative direction, but it's still a crest. So there's no phase jump here.
So we say from light string to heavy string, we get a phase jump of half a wavelength. And from heavy string to light string, we get no phase jump. Uh, my diagram is a little bit misleading in that I've done the amplitudes as being the same. And that's not true. They're sharing the energy, so the amplitude should be different. I just wanted to make it as clear as possible to talk about the direction, whether it was a crest or a trough. So don't overinterpret my, my diagram on that. There is a really good simulation for this, which is a, a site called PHET. It's a website run by, I think it's the University of, of Colorado. And um, if you just type in PHET into your web browser, I suspect it will come up. And they have oh many, many simulations of physical situations. I used to not think much of the simulations because I'd go to the site and I'd play with it and I'd not get much out of it. But then I realized that that's because I was just playing with it. If you approach it more scientifically and you change one thing at once, so in this case, you can change the tension of the wire and see the speed changing, you can, you can mess with that then you'll get much more out of it. So I would, for all of this physics, I would go to the uh, PHET website and just see if there's a simulation that can give additional insights. I once taught a student and I explained and I explained and I explained and then I went to this website and showed them it and they said, got it, <laughs> which is the way teaching goes. <laughs> um, but this is, you can see how this is very important. If you have an oncoming signal and it's interfered with by a reflected signal which is half a wavelength out of phase, that's going to be a different situation than if I have an oncoming signal that's been interfered with by a signal which is in phase. Two completely different situations because of the mismatch at the interface. And this comes up for electricity and it also comes up again for light as we've mentioned. So it's a conceptual thing, but it's an interesting conceptual thing. You can see it well with, spring, with strings, um, but the effect has significant ramifications. So here's a couple of questions. Which diagram illustrates a wave pulse that is displaced by a, a, a half wavelength phase jump? Well, it's when a crest goes to a trough. So this is the one. Here a crest is bouncing back as a crest. So there's no phase jump there. By the way, if one wavelength is like one cycle, which is like two pi radians, then we could say one wavelength is two pi radians. So we can say lambda over two is like pi radians. And sometimes they talk about phase jumps in terms of fractions of a wavelength. And sometimes they talk about phase jumps in terms of radians. So get used to that to the idea. Second question, uh, which diagram is the result of a wave passing through the interface? So we have a thick string, high mass per unit length, going into a, a low mass per unit length string, and what's going to happen? Is it going to continue as a crest, or is it going to, uh, and reflect as a crest, or is it going to continue as a trough, and reflect as a crest and the answer of course is that it continues as a crest and reflects as a crest so there we have it 